hi guys welcome back so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be testing our user apps if we recall in the last video we created a sign up route and a login route for user so now what we're going to do is we're going to be creating a test for each of these routes let's recall that we're following a test driven development technique so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to minimize my folders here and i'm going to go to the test file and create a new test on the users called test underscore user underscore routes dot file so let's get that done and that'll be test underscore user underscore routes dot okay routes dot file now when we're trying to do this we must realize that there are some dependencies we're going to be needing when we're trying to do this one of them is httpx and i think i kind of installed this at the beginning of the video so pip install httpx and okay as we can see the requirements have already been satisfied so what httpx is going to do is it's basically going to allow us to make this request via the fast api test clients to our routes so i'm also going to install one more package which is called faker faker is going to let us create um basically test features sorry faker is going to let us create random text features to kind of test our routes so Without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say from fast API, right? Import. Um, okay. You know what? Since we're going to test client, I'm going to say from fast API test client import um, test client, and I'm also going to need to import my app. So I will say from app import app okay now i'm also going to need to import um faker which is from faker import faker like i said before faker is going to let us um create basically different type of data so let me kind of like give an explanation of what i'm saying by writing code so um, i'm going to create my instantiate faker here now i'm also going to need to instantiate my test client so i'm going to say client equals test client and test client is going to be expecting a parameter which is basically my application here so i'm going to pass in app and this app here is basically my um, fast api application that i've declared at this area so now i'm going to go back to my test file .py and continue where i was so the first thing i kind of want to do now is i want to create um i want to create a test for my sign up so i'm going to write def test sign up and i'm going to give my sign up data here so if we recall in my user routes here i basically have my um that should be my schemas so b to create a user we need a username we need an email and a password so these are kind of like the things we're going to be passing uh, when trying to create our users so I'm going to say sign up data is going to be equals to um, that will be I'll say user name so like I said faker allows us to generate random text test features so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say fake dot user underscore name so what this will do is it's going to generate a random username for us with faker and also if I want my email I'm going to say fake dot email and lastly I'm going to want to generate a password so I'm not going to use faker for that since I'm not necessarily enforcing a uniqueness to password so I'm going to say password is equals to password one so let me kind of like give an explanation of as to why I'm using faker again like I said faker allows us to kind of like um, randomize the username and the emails you assign and if we recall when we were defining our user models here we enforced basically a uniqueness to username and emails what that means is that we don't want a situation where a user is basically signing up with the same email so in cases where i kind of like add code these test values here and i kind of like add code the email the next time we run our test our test is basically going to fail so to kind of prevent that i use faker to kind of randomize what my username and email will be at runtime of the test 
and once we define our sign of data i'm going to say response equals to client dot post and this client is going to be taking the routes to my sign up so my sign up is basically declared here as forward slash sign up but there's something we also need to remember and that is here we can see that this is basically process script forward slash user so i first need to include the prefix before including the actual routes of the sign up so i'm going to go here and i'm going to be sending my post request to forward slash user forward slash sign up and the forward slash so i'm also going to need to pass in my json and my json is going to be my sign up data so what we want to do is we want to basically assert that this was a successful response so i'm going to say assert response dot status dot code equals equals to so and so so um sorry not status dot code that'll be status underscore code is equals to 200 so this is going to be true when we kind of have our response status code to be 200 and what that means is that our user was successfully created and we can basically then check and say assert response dot um json is equals equals to um if i go to this last dot pi this is going to be my message which says user has been created so i'm going to copy this here and i'm going to say the response has to be equals to this json that i have here so with this um okay sorry response for json good so with this i can then decide to run my test so the first thing i'll need to do is i'm going to clear this out and i'm going to say pi test so as you can see PyTest is basically running our test and you can see that test underscore user underscore route underscore dot pi was also ran and we can see that all tests passed without errors so we seem to be having a warning from pydantic so i might need to just change it later but from this you can see that this is how you can kind of like test your sign up routes so you can just kind of like write test for your routes in case some changes are kind of like made without someone else knowing so in situations where you kind of have, have people working with um this code base you basically have multiple people working on this code base test kind of just like ensures that no one changes anything and the entire application gets broken so that's that so let's basically add a new test called um our login so i'm going to say dev test um login and dev test login is going to be a going to be a response equals client dot post and that's going to be accepting um forward slash user forward slash login if i'm correct yes and it's got also going to be accepting a json user data so this user forward slash login here that we have is basically based on this route that we have here so that's what we're doing now to kind of like get the user data for my test login it's kind of a bit tricky and here's why if i decide to create a, a new json like this and i kind of like do this and i kind of like paste it here the only problem we're going to be having is that the user might not have been created so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, copy this here right i'm going to copy this here and what i'm going to do here so what i want to do is i want to create this client here so sorry i'm going to say def get user data this might not kind of like be the best way to address this situation but i'm just kind of giving like a quick quick fix for now so this is going to be accepting sign up data sorry indentation so what i'm going to do is i'm going to return the sign up data or should i say i'm going to call this user data and test so they won't kind of like be a mix up in the name of variable so what we're doing is this like i said before before a user gets logged in a user the user kind of needs to exist in the database so i'm creating the user in this get underscore user underscore data 
then I'm returning that user data. So I'm going to say return user underscore data. So with that, I can basically say my login data is equals to get user data. So what this will do is it basically creates a new user dictionary data and passes it to this response or client here. Sorry, I might need to fix this to be user underscore data. Passes it here and then we return user underscore data. And that's the data we're going to be using here to test sign up. So with this, um, sorry, I really need to use git domain. So those, this is going to be login data. So with this, I'm going to pass in login data here. That'll be JSON is going to be equal to login underscore data. Then I'm then going to need to then assert my statement. So I can start by saying first, I can, I can copy this and say assert. Um, assert. Response of JSON equals status code. Another thing I can kind of like check is I can check basically if there is an access token. For example, in this rust.py, we're expecting that an access token is, is returned when a user logs in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm going to go back to get underscore user that data is, I'm going to assert, uh, what I'm going to do is assert access underscore token right in response dot json so what this is going to do is this basically checks if there is an access token in the json response i'm getting otherwise our test fails and i'm also going to say assert response dot json and i should be expecting a token type so i want to check if my token is of type zero then i'm going to say equals equals zero so i necessarily do not need this last part but i'm just kind of just like adding it to show that we can kind of test basically different kind of things so now what we're going to do is we're going to run our test again so i'm going to say pi test okay okay Great, as you can see, we kind of have five tests and they all pass. So uh, we have two tests here that's basically testing our sign up and we're also testing our login and we're testing that our users can get created. And I think we're also testing that we can basically create a post and have a post relationship. So I guess that's all. So this is kind of how you test your applications, um, mainly your routes in fast api so if you have any kind of suggestions recommendations as to how to do this better ways to do this you can drop in the comment section below i kind of like got a request of some um community members kind of asking if i could make a video on forget password so i didn't kind of like plan that in the process of this video so what i'm going to do is i'm going to later on create a separate video as to how to implement forget password for your user in case your user kind of like forgets the password or they used to sign up or login i'm going to create a different video for that and that might require us to kind of like integrate a third party email provider which is why i might not necessarily be including it mainly in this series it might basically be after the series or somewhere when we're done with um creating posts so thank you all for joining me see you in the next video which is going to be aimed at creating posts and making our post routes authenticated. Thank you. Have a great day, guys.